Uh, let's move on to item eight. Comment from council members. Are there any members of the city council who have comments? Uh, council member Hamilton. Yes, I just want to um, acknowledge the, I just got a, sorry, just had a feedback. Okay, I'm good now. Um, I just wanted to acknowledge um, last night there was a um, presentation given to the public um, on uh, mountain lion safety. Uh, it was just, it was really, really well executed. Um, I believe well attended um, uh, virtually on Zoom. And I just wanted to um, commend staff um, uh, I understand uh, Jennifer Dianos was the was the um, key staff member to pull that together, but I know I know that the team works as a team, and I just wanted to acknowledge everyone's hard work on bringing that important information to the community. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you. Councilmember Mason. Thank you. Um, I have two announcements. Just one is a thank you to Max over at Atlas Pizza. He had a really nice um, reopening party that he hosted um, at Atlas. And by the close of the night, they had counted at least 170 people in attendance. And, you know, Max has been such a partner to the city of San Bruno. Um, at the party was the San Mateo County Silicon Valley Convention uh, and Visitors Bureau representative. The general manager of the Marriott Courtyard was there. The president of the Broadway Burlingame Business Improvement District was there. Um, Max has really gone above and beyond to really highlight our downtown and what it offers. And I, I just wanna make sure that uh, I, I take the opportunity to thank him and thank everybody who took the time to come. It was such a warm uh, event and it was so nice to see everybody. Um, we hadn't seen each other in a, lot, in a long time in person. Um, I wanted to also just, um, in case uh, members of the public don't know, the American Cancer Society's newest guidelines uh, recommend that colorectal cancer screenings begin at age 45. The American Cancer Society expects an estimated 149,500 cases of colorectal cancer to be diagnosed in the United States this year, with about 52,980 people dying from the disease. This past week, a close family member of mine became part of that 52,980 individuals who lost their battle to cancer, to colon cancer. I'm using this opportunity and voice to educate the public in the hopes that all of you will also educate your own families that screenings are to begin at 45 under the newest guidance and early screening really does make a difference in outcomes. The timely screening can save your life, and that concludes my comment. Thank you. Thank you um, for your comments and educating all of us, because I think we all need the reminder, and, and I, we are sorry for the loss. Vice Mayor Medina. Yes, uh, thank you, Councilwoman Mason, for that. Um, it's a lot easier nowadays. Um, you, you can get screened and, and um, I personally have done it. It's 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 relatively easy. Um, so so go ahead and do that. Uh, I have. Um, I just wanted to thank everybody for for the amount of work put in this budget. Um, it's it was very very difficult and it was very complicated and all the acronyms and 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 all that. Um, I I think we're in a really good spot considering. And um, thank you for all the work. Um, last announcement is for Second Harvest at Bel Air this Thursday. If you are somebody that needs food, it's available. Um, it'll be at Bel Air, uh, two o'clock to four o'clock. Uh, there's, there's a line, you can register online, um, in line or online. Um, let other people know that it's available and, and, uh, I'll be seeing you there. Thank you. Oh, uh, Councilmember Salazar. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, so uh, first of all, I wanted to uh, follow on what the uh, vice mayor said and, and thank staff for uh, all the work that went into the budget. Even though I, I voted no, ultimately uh, know that I do uh, understand all the work that went into it and totally respect the, uh, the professionalism and the commitment that went into that. And it, uh, my vote definitely does not reflect on the work that went into it. It's just, I'm, I'm a slave to my principles. And so um, 
I, I, uh, I felt I had to vote that way, but uh, not because of uh, my lack of respect for what was done. Um, I also wanted to follow up on Council Member Hamilton's uh, comments about the mountain lion program. I unfortunately had a conflict last night and I was wondering if there was a, a recording of that uh, session available. Uh, it'd be nice to uh, go back and see that and make you, maybe make that available to people that didn't have an opportunity to see it. And uh, finally, um, you know, seeing, uh, seeing our staff in City Hall with, without the masks and uh, starting to look something like, like normal. Uh, it's definitely a milestone. So I just wanted to congratulate uh, uh, everyone who's there in, in City Hall for, for achieving that milestone and for uh, to the, all the staff that were able to keep everyone safe through the pandemic and, and get to this point. Um, definitely great to see you guys there and uh, you know, looking forward to, to even more normal going forward. Thank you. It looks like the fire chief was about out the door. Then he, he got the camera on him. He had to sit back down. Um, uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Councilmember Hamilton. Before I conclude, very fa very fast um, to Councilmember Salazar's comment. The Mountain Lion um, uh, meeting is on YouTube on this under the city's account right now. I just checked. Thank you, sir. I'll look it up. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to acknowledge that uh, last Thursday. And, and front of City Hall outside at the San Bruno Chamber um, Board of Directors installation. And that was attended by your, uh, some of your council, but uh, they had that done outside, but um, we all, we participated. I wanna thank everyone. Also on Friday, the San Bruno Police Department, along with all many departments that did their uh, porch run for Special Olympics. And I watched as uh, uh, some of our officers uh, in the heat, and as we remember, it was it was hot last week. Uh, running the the path and to hand off the court, and then yesterday, uh, congratulations to the board of trustees in the San Bernardino Park School District for the groundbreak, the official groundbreaking at Allen Elementary. Those of you that have gone by obviously have seen uh, activity um, going on, and so we congratulate them and appreciate that invitation. And I've extended an invitation to them to the Recreation and Aquatic Center groundbreaking that we hope, uh, and now let's not say hope, that we're gonna have uh, 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 in August. So with that said, I appreciate staff's time and uh, being here and all that you've done in preparation for this evening uh, and the budget. With that said, we're gonna adjourn tonight to the uh, next regular city council meeting, which will be held on July 13th, 2021 at 7 p.m. Thank you and good night.